This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. I'm Jeb Blunt, best-selling author of Fanatical Prospecting and Sales EQ, and I'm here to help you open more doors, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. I've got some great news for you. My brand new book, Objections, is out on audiobook, and you can pick it up at Audible, iTunes, Google Play, or wherever you listen to audiobooks. There are few one-size-fits-all solutions in sales, and negotiation is no exception. Negotiation in complex sales is far different from transactional one-call close haggling. Negotiating with a stakeholder who works for a business is different from negotiating directly with a business owner. B2B negotiation is different from B2C and working with individual consumers. And likewise, negotiating over physical products is different than negotiating for intangible services and subscription-based products. Yet as a sales professional, what is certain is no matter your industry, product, service, or the complexity of your sale, you are going to have to negotiate with stakeholders. And though context matters, there are seven rules of sales negotiation that apply to all salespeople. Rule number one, win first, then negotiate. This is the number one rule for sales negotiation and the rule that most salespeople violate consistently. Getting the timing wrong with negotiation weakens your power position and your leverage. You should avoid negotiating until your stakeholders have named you the vendor of choice. Prior to that point, you are dealing with price objections, bidding against your competitors, and negotiating with yourself. Rule number two, Never give your leverage away for free. Leverage is power in negotiations. And sadly, salespeople have a bad habit of giving away their leverage and getting nothing in return. When you give concessions, you must always, always get something back in return. Never give your leverage away for free. Rule number three in sales negotiation is simple, brutal truth. In every negotiation, the person who exerts the greatest amount of emotional control has the highest probability of getting the outcome they desire. Sales professionals who have honed sales EQ, sales-specific emotional intelligence, have greater emotional self-control and the ability to leverage human influence frameworks to bend the probability of winning in their favor. Rule number four, it's the sales process, stupid. As a rule, sales professionals want to feel in control and avoid making concessions that negatively impact their compensation and their ego. Many are looking for Obi-Wan Kenobi tactics that allow them to outmaneuver the other party with a simple wave of the hand. The key to getting the negotiation force on your side is not a Jedi mind trick. The real secret is effectively managing and being excellent along the entire sales process. Likewise, the very best sales negotiators are masters at aligning the sales and buying processes by mapping the process steps and gaining consensus from their stakeholders on those steps early in the engagement. Rule number five, sales negotiation requires a focus on empathy and outcome. In all but the most transactional deals, the relationship matters. You cannot use hard-nosed tactics and cheesy negotiation gambits if you want to retain your customers over the long term. You must leverage the dual process of empathy and a drive for outcome to win for your team in the negotiation while at the same time protecting the relationship. You must control your emotions and detach from the outcome while anchoring trust and nurturing the long-term relationships with your stakeholders. Rule number six, knowledge is power. In sales negotiations, stakeholders are going to tell you that your competitors are offering lower prices and better features, better quality, and better terms and conditions. They'll hit you with market data and trends and throw everything they can at you to get a better deal for themselves. Going into a sales negotiation blind is suicide. You must be a student of your marketplace, your industry, your trends, and your competitors. You need to know the playing field better than your stakeholders and your competitors. And rule number seven, play to win. Forget about win-win outcomes and start playing to win. That's your job as a sales professional, to win for your team. But to win, you must clearly understand the negotiation chessboard before you enter the game. You need to know each stakeholder's personal success criteria. You need to know your prospect's desired business outcomes and their metrics that matter. 
You need to know your own and their negotiation parameters and limits. You must understand the consequences of the concessions you make, and you must clearly define each party's motivation, leverage, and power position. I want to remind you again that my brand new audiobook, Objections, is out right now on Audible, on Google Play, on iTunes, and wherever audiobooks are sold.